Mercedes-Benz has expanded their charging options for their customers. Yes, they have access to the Tesla supercharging network in North America while building out their own. Is this good news or bad news? Well, I think it's good, but we have a few things to discuss about it. Joining me today is my good friend Herbert from Brighter. Uh, let's see what's going on with that. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. So this is pretty neat stuff. Uh, as you know, there have been a, a Ford started the trend. Uh, really, you could say Aptera was the first to adopt the North American charging standard. But Ford was the one who actually has cars and it started the avalanche. And now everyone's on board. And now Mercedes uh, has been granted permission to start using it, which is, of course, very exciting. Uh, can you How be you more feel? specific? Because um, they, yes, yeah, they already had since early 2024, they had already access to the 2000, 12,000 Tesla superchargers, like it says here. But is it something new? Like they can actually now use it? Is that what you're saying? Well, they were already using them in Europe, uh, but I don't think they were, uh, can use, it's yeah. North America where they'll be able to start using them. I haven't seen any any Mercedes at superchargers in the U S reported. So I think this is the expansion to, um, yes, uh, Mercedes will initially offer an adapter that enables the company's existing CCS BEVs yeah. to charge seamlessly. So this is, I believe that that 12,000 was, uh, or the other number, uh, right. Cause it's gaining access. No, but see the article you're looking at was written in July, 2023, July of, so. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Actually, that could have been the photo. <laughs> I don't oh. know either. <laughs> yeah. No, I could think I... you're right. I think you're right. Well, that's yeah. all right because what, I what the I know. Article. Yeah, what I know is that uh, Mercedes Benz. There, the announcement was that they are now um, in the list of. Uh, wasn't it? They're now on the list that they're going to be doing it too. So, because I had just seen the headline and I went and grabbed something and I didn't realize I was grabbing an old one. Anyway. Here's the Tesla NACS adoption tracker. This is a great idea that's uh, pretty mm, difficult to read and interpret, but it shows every company, including the parts makers and suppliers, and their current status. So they're like Acura will have the charge port in uh, 25 or 26. And this list is just getting longer and longer. So let's see if uh, Mercedes is on here. How do you feel about other autos being able to use the supercharger network mm -hmm. oh gosh that's great <laughs> i know yes. that people are concerned they're absolutely concerned that they're you know they're already waiting in line there's not enough out there especially with the transfer but i'm not concerned about that i think that once everybody standardizes on one standard in this case you know tesla's north american standard then it's not just up to tesla to create to create these you're 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 going to hear starbucks you're going to hear hilton you're going to hear companies um take over i think we had an oil company an oil giant giant say that they're going to create these supercharger they're going to convert their gas stations it's going to come soon soon enough the news i'm reading here about uh mercedes is that they're actually they're the ones that they said here that they're assessing because they're worried about the tesla layoffs and they're mm. worried about the, if the Tesla layoffs are going to affect their access to the supercharger networks. That that was the news I was reading just now. And that is a reasonable concern. I think it has been allayed somewhat over the last two weeks as we've seen a lot of that team hired back. Yeah. There's, it was a pretty strange decision overall, uh, but they've taken the steps needed. What I like to see, and there are versions of this in Europe, but they're not effective enough yet, is a payment system that handles all chargers just mm -hmm. like how when you take your tesla to a supercharger you don't you if it's if it's red and it says tesla you plug in and you're done that's it ford has something similar for their trucks they're at mach e's as well the blue something the blue something system who knows blue dot i have no idea i forget where on the app you can find chargers too many of them by the way a lot of them shouldn't be on there uh but it handles the payment system through the app. So Ford handles the payment system for you. That makes it a lot easier for Ford owners. Yeah. And we need to see a system like that because nobody wants 10 apps. Do you have uh, 
an opinion on how good charging is once you get out of the big metros. Oh, because I uh, so yeah. I've 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 got a long range Model Three. I've never had an issue. My friends uh, who are considering to buy Teslas always say well, I'm concerned about Tes the range anxiety, and I say yeah. Uh, when in gas cars, I'm concerned about gas price anxiety. I'm concerned about service cost anxiety. I'm I'm concerned about, you know, uh, technology displacement anxiety. The last thing I'm worried about with Teslas are actually range anxiety. There are, it's never been an issue for me. Um, I've gone, I, I've never actually driven that uh, far, but I have a friend, you and I have a common friend, Ash Martian. She mm -hmm. drove her regular, not even an, a long range, just a regular right. Model 3, an old one, all the way from Seattle, all the way to Austin and back and did not have any problems. How could you yes. go cross country like that or, you know, no, up north and that north south, but not have an issue? So, well, if and if you're going that, to Austin, it's not even yeah. going to be straight lines. It's going to be funky zigzags. Yeah. So I do have a couple answers to that. So I've had a chance to drive through. 18, 19 states in the last three weeks. Yeah. And I have found that. So when I was talking with Justin, the bearded Tesla guy who mm -hmm. towed a cyber truck with a cyber truck from Salt mm -hmm. Lake to Orlando, mm -hmm. what he found is the spacing is ideal for a rear wheel drive Tesla. It's not ideal for a truck. So mm -hmm. what ends up happening is when, where he would drive it down to maybe 10%, eight, 5%. Now he's having to stop and charge stop when he's at 20, 25, 30% because the spacing is wrong. So he's stopping too often, more often than he'd like. And then he has to charge up higher than he'd like, which takes too long. So the spacing is a little funky, but what I found is there are places in Texas, but also up into the Midwest where, um, only certain routes are well covered. So if you live in a city that's not on that route, yeah. um, you have to have home charging and even that might not be enough. Mm -hmm. And this isn't a Tesla problem. This is an industry problem that they're working on. It just takes time. They're yeah. going to get there, but it takes time. Uh, my friend Larry was saying that his daughter lived, uh, you know, a few cities over and when he would drive out to visit her because he couldn't plug in he would have to drive past it by 20 30 miles charge and then come home and yeah. that adds but that has been solved in his area and it'll be solved in more areas but there is a lingering adoption problem that charging yeah. will fix yep. and by getting all these companies the ability to use the supercharger network it's going to make it possible not just for uh for Tesla drivers, but for EV adoption more generally. And if that sounds like I'm sour on Tesla, I'm not. I'm here for the Tesla mission, which is to accelerate the transition to a sustainable energy economy. We used to have conversations where we would say, who is going to be the next big name to fall? And uh, they've all fallen. We're, we're all on board. Now we just have to figure out if this is going to be the... Uh, the North American charging standard or just the American charging standard, because Mexico hasn't quite got all their ducks in a row in choosing a standard because so many of the vehicles that arrived first were from China. Mm -hmm. So they're now going through the same kind of pain that other countries had to deal with as well. Mm -hmm. uh, very easy topic today, guys. Uh, what, what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? What is your obstacle for charging? Uh, is it, uh, if you're at an apartment, do you have enough, uh, availability that you can get into the spots with the, with the charging, uh, or are you in a rental where you just can't do it? I've definitely lived places where I don't, where I'm confident I couldn't have run power out to the car, mm -hmm. but especially in Northern States, a lot of parking spots will have a, a one, a little one ten for a block heater in the winter. You can trickle charge with that. It's Use a thought. Any wall outlet. That's the scary part. You can plug in your blow dryer. You can plug in your phone to charge. You can plug in an electric vehicle. That's the scary I, part about this whole yeah. thing. It's crazy. I was visiting my friend who drives a Prius and he want, and he said, you know what? Do you have your mobile charger? I want you to charge it up. Let's see how much juice you get overnight. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And I went, I got, I think 25% of a charge in the time overnight. I, is, I had my first Model 3 that I bought. It took me three months before I had an electrician come out to put in the actual charging unit, the power yeah. charger, the wall charger. And I was just using a regular wall outlet for three months. 
And honestly, we were at the point where we're going, do we really need this? Because, you know, I mean, we don't use the car as often, right? Not the particular right. one. And it worked out just fine for me. So, yeah. And that's where I was at. I did six months before I was able to get my level two put in. Yeah. And all it meant, so the only thing that changed is now I leave it set at 70% state of charge right. instead of 80, because if I need more, I can get it quickly. And uh, I no longer have to plan so far in advance when I'm going to be going out of town more than once a week. Because right. because like, well, I'm going to Portland on Thursday, but then I'm going to visit family on Sunday. I better start charging up to 100 yeah, on no Tuesday. Worries at this point. Yeah, yeah, no, no worries. Yeah. Boom. No, but I could still do it. I could still do it. Yeah. So guys, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? Leave it in them comments below. Head over to Brighter. See what Herbert's up to. He's always got a bunch of great content and i love hanging out with him uh i did have someone ask me uh at an event has herbert ever been seen outside of his studio <laughs> i said yeah yeah he's in he's in my he's in what i said he's in my video with the uh, seeing the inside of a cyber truck for the first time though. i was okay. at your i was at your outdoor conference in That's austin right. that too. i was leading a panel in giga texas I've been, I've been through many events, man. I've, it's just that I've, I missed a couple of lot of recent ones, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and you do so many shows in between Yeah, that if you only did two shows a month, those would stand out more, yeah. but you're, but you're a busy, busy man. And I've seen you live. So, you know, we've, we've hugged, dude, we've hugged. That's right. That's right. But then am I real? So I struggle with that every day. Uh, I think if I was generated AI, I would work on this a little more, <laughs> sharpen it up a bit, but maybe that's part your, of the Your trick. wit is AI, dude. So I'm concerned about that. That's too much. I don't too good. know. I've, I've seen the jokes AI makes and it's not there yet. No, they're uh, so good. Okay. The jokes? Oh, yeah, I think no, so. Herbert. Really? I'll have to check again in the comments. <laughs> leave some jokes that you have Low seen bar. generated by AI. No, for real. Please, in the comments, I want to see AI generated jokes. Everybody else, like, subscribe, do the usual, and stay tuned, stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you, clever robots, when this road trip ever ends. <laughs> <laughs>